Isabel Dedring, Deputy Mayor for London, thanks for joining us here at this Highways UK conference. Now, we had the Comprehensive Spending re Review yesterday. Yeah. How did you fare? Well, the good news is that our capital grant over the next couple of years has been protected. Mm -hmm. um, the bad news is that we'd asked for an extra capital settlement, which we didn't get. We got exactly zero of that. And that was actually because our revenue grant has a big capital spend element within it. And so we've lost our revenue grant over the next three years, and therefore the capital spend within that's going to go as well. And the impact of that is? Well, I mean, obviously, any, you know, the set of programs that we're planning on doing needs to be rejigged. Some of it will potentially need to be cut, but that's still, we need to look at that. Right. So, so it sounds like a potentially quite a serious issue then. Well, yeah, because the, you know, the additional capital spend roughly within that revenue grant was about two plus billion pounds. Mm -hmm. So we've lost all of that, right. not but, to mention the revenue elements. Projects like uh, Crossroad 2, that's all fine. Well, so the, the way the government's handling Crossrail 2 is they've asked that to be one of the top three priorities that um, the National Infrastructure Commission is looking at. And um, so we've already had a whole series of discussions with Andrew Adonis, who's obviously very behind Crossrail 2 generally, having yeah. been involved in it over time. So that's the way that Crossrail 2 is going forward yeah. at the moment. So watch this space in terms of what's going to be, uh, you know, what, what will come out of that review. The idea yeah. is that they will then do something, as I understand it, yeah. fold it together with the budget in the spring. Okay. So that's what we're working towards. Okay. So big challenges around it. What, what other challenges face a capital city with an aspiration to grow to 10 million population by 2030? I think probably three things. One is um, London's brand on the world stage is that it's got a high quality of life, low density, lots of parks. So we need to think about all the things that we need to keep doing to enhance that. That's having progressive yeah. policies, more cycling, more you know public space with trees, all those sorts of things. But that obviously is at odds with uh, pressure on the road network because of the growth in population, rising congestion, etc. So we need to really continue to to get every app absolute ounce of capacity out of the road network. Right. There's a lot more we need to do on that. And then there is a lot more we need to do on the railway network in London. Not necessarily the two, but getting more out of the railway yeah. network in London. You've just been talking at the conference today about the use of technology uh, and the way that we can really, I suppose, focus on customers using technology. I mean, how important is that for the future? I mean, of massively London's important. Road? And these are technologies that exist today. I think when we all talk about technology in the road network, you know, you kind of end up in this dream world of 30 years from now when everyone's mm. driving driverless cars. You know, there are vast numbers of technologies out there today, not least the mobile that everyone's got in their hands, yeah. which we could be working with much more closely. And the example I was just giving was um, some of the apps that are out there on the market, which we don't reflect on our website, yeah. we don't push them out to our customers, but actually they would be helping our customers get around the road network more effectively and more quickly, yeah. and it would help us in terms of how we can manage the network. Big moment for the London in ne next May, the mayoral elections. Um, how would you sum up, I suppose, the legacy of the Boris Johnson mayoralty? Well, we have tried to put a big focus on the road network. Um, we have this huge new roads program, mm -hmm. which does include the cycling program um, and creating safer, segregated cycle facilities. But it, it includes a lot of other things, um, fixing all of the nasty junctions around London, like Vauxhall, like Wandsworth, yeah. like Elephant Castle. Those are all things that are underway. And we've done a huge amount on air quality and air pollution that's often not recognized, but things like the ultra low emission zone, zero, zero emission black cabs that are coming in in just a few years now. Um, that is something that I'm very proud of and I know the mayor is as well. Isabel, thanks for joining us here. It's exciting times for the capital ahead. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.